This video provides step-by-step -step instructions to install FSL in the Windows 10 operating system. You can follow along with these instructions at the FSL installation wiki page. First, we need to ensure that you have the Windows subsystem for Linux enabled on your system. You can copy this command from our wiki page, open up a PowerShell, and paste it. Once pasted, you can press Enter. And you can see on my system it hasn't done much, but on yours, if you've never done this before, you may be presented with one or two prompts or questions to answer and just accept the defaults or answer yes in most cases. And then you should restart your system. After a restart, you can come back to the FSL wiki page. Next, we need to open up the Microsoft Store and search for Ubuntu 18.04. So let's do that. On my system, I'm just going to search for Store and it should bring up the Microsoft Store first. Once you're in the store, you can then search for Ubuntu. 18.04 is the version we want. On my system, it says launch because I've previously installed this already. On yours, if you've never installed Ubuntu, then you'll be presented with the option to install it. So go ahead and do that. And then once it's installed, you can launch. You can click on launch. And if this is your first time starting Ubuntu, you'll be given the option to set a username and password. So go ahead and take the time to do that. And once your username is set up, you should be in an Ubuntu shell. Now we can go back to our FSL installation wiki page. And the next thing we need to do is copy a command that will enable us to install some dependencies and update the system. So now go back to your Ubuntu shell and paste that in and hit enter to do so. Type in your password. In this case, my password is just my name because this is a demo. And on my system, I don't need any updates because I've done this recently, but if this is the first time for you, you may get significantly more text than I have here, and that's okay. If you're prompted with any questions, such as do you really want to install, just choose yes and let those installs finish. Once those are done, we can go back to the FSL wiki instructions. So now we need to use a browser to get the installer script. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we're on the FSL downloads page, we need to accept the FSL software license and then provide some information about yourself and importantly, when you're choosing your operating system here, you need to choose Linux Ubuntu 18 because that's the underlying system that we're actually installing onto here. And then click register. And that will download the FSL installer script on your Windows side of your system. Now we can go back to the installation wiki page. Next, we're going to install Xming by clicking the link here. This is a direct link to a download, so it should start within about five seconds. And Xming allows us to use FSL graphical applications from within our Ubuntu operating system that we've just installed. So we can save that file and then run it just as you would any other installer script on your Windows system. And once that's done, we can close out the Xbing website. So now that we have the installer script downloaded and we've set up Xbing, 
we can go back to the wiki page and copy the next command, which will actually run the installer script that we've downloaded. So you can go to your Ubuntu shell, paste that command in, and we're going to edit where it says Windows username. And in your case, you'll put in either your username or the username of this for the system that you're on. And we'll just accept the default location to install in user local FSL. Press enter. And I'm going to not re-download FSL because it takes a while. But in your case, if you've never done this before, it, the download should have started immediately because it did not detect an existing version. And this may take quite a while to download depending on your internet connection speed. I'm going to reply no here. It'll continue setting up the environment for us. If this is your first time, you'll have to wait for the download to install um, and finish completely before your user profile is updated with all of the FSL settings. Once that's done, let's go back to our wiki page and run one last command here. So we'll copy, go to the Ubuntu shell, we'll paste it, enter, and that will set up our display so that the FSL GUIs can be used within your Windows system. And let's go ahead and log out of Ubuntu and then log back in by just opening the app. And you should try to use some FSL commands. So we can try bet, for instance, and that works well. We can, let's clear the screen and try flirt. Looking good as well. And we can try fossilize. And on my system, this is going to open up in a full screen window. And you can see that it's using the Xming app that we previously installed to show this window. Okay, so that's it. Can go and add a standard image just to make sure our viewer is working. And you now have FSL installed on Windows 10.